When a system is completely recirculating, such as a heating or cooling system, then a pressure reference is required to define the initial pressurised condition of the closed system. A tank is used to define the pressure at a node within a closed system, which allows a solution to be found with no pressures calculated relative to the pressure reference. The pressure reference will not affect the flow rates around the system. It only affects the calculated pressures at the nodes within the system. Pipe flow expert will check that the pressure at each node is above 0 psi absolute. Note that pressures below 0 psi absolute are impossible to achieve. A pressure reference can be supplied in various ways and each of the models on the screen gives an example. So in model 1 we can add a tank at a node to model a sealed pressurised unit and we can use the fluid surface pressure to specify the pressurisation condition. Alternatively, model 2 shows that we can add a branch spur with the tank at the end to model a fluid head pressure and we can use the liquid level to specify the fluid head. And in the, th in the third approach, we can add a vertical pipe to a top-up tank, setting the elevation of the tank exit point and the liquid level in the tank to provide the pressure at a node in the system. Let's go ahead and solve these systems. Let's take model 2 as an example. We can see that the flow rate is 114.96 US gallons per minute. And if we click on the pump symbol, the pump data screen is shown on which the pump curve is drawn and the operating point of the pump is indicated. And for a recirculating system, this operating point is a position on the pump curve where the pump head that is added by the pump exactly equals the total loss for this particular flow rate due to the fittings and the pipe friction. To illustrate the effect on flow rate of increasing the pressure, in other words that there will be no increase in flow rate if we increase the, the pressure of the source tank, let's increase this surface pressure of the tank to let's say 500 psi gauge. Calculate the system again, view the results drawing, and we can see the flow rate has remained the same, 114.96 US gallons per minute. However, the node pressures in the system have increased. A pump in a closed loop recirculating system will only add enough pump head to overcome the pipe friction and fitting losses that occur due to the velocity of fluid flow around the system. The net pipe friction and fitting losses must equal the pressure added by the pump since the pump outlet pressure minus the losses through the system must equal the pump inlet pressure in order for the system flows and pressure losses to balance. The pressure reference, the tank in this case, only defines the pressure at a node within the system and does not affect the flow rate versus pressure loss balance around the system. Hence the calculated flow rate will be the same and does not change when the pressure reference is changed.